It is new technology that police hope will get criminals off the streets faster. A rapid DNA machine that can cut testing time from weeks or months to under two hours. But as Adam Bennett shows us, Houston's recent trial run with the machines reveals some serious concerns. When crime happens in Houston, the race is on to find the person responsible and get them behind bars ASAP. But imagine if you could link someone to the crime scene in the time it takes to watch a movie. But I think that speed has a real advantage. Dr. Peter Stout is the president and CEO of the Houston Forensic Science Center. They wrapped up a months long pilot program last year with HPD. The study protocol swab the evidence twice, processing one sample the old school way, the other with the rapid DNA, then compare the results. The rapid DNA sample alone is not admissible in court, but it can help lead to evidence that is. Yes, we have developed leads and as well as uh, has been able to eliminate uh, potential suspects from cases, which is equally important. But Dr. Stout says one big drawback the machines consume whatever evidence they sample. So if the result from the instrument is different from the laboratory or there's something unexpected happens in the instrument, that swab collected from that seam is gone. That happened with a blood-stained piece of glass in one investigation. Dr. Stout also has concerns on how the machines distinguish mixtures of DNA. For example, a doorknob that several people have touched. Well, this is people's lives and freedom, and how that gets used is, needs to be carefully done. A 2017 study of rapid DNA in Sweden was stopped early, when nearly a quarter of the blood samples weren't usable. For an answer to be quick and wrong is obviously somebody's life. It's also somebody's life if the answer is right and too late. And Dr. Stout says the FBI and Texas DPS agree that the potential for this technology is huge, but until the proper procedures and protocol are put in place, the risk of losing evidence is too great. Adam Bennett, KHOU 11 News. Houston police tell us they are still using rapid DNA in very limited cases to pursue leads in violent crime cases.